Apple's modular Mac Pro we've heard so much about, so many leaks and so many demands from users to redesign the Mac Pro in a way that is more modular and upgradable so that it can last longer. That's still up in the air. We could see it at a Worldwide Developers Conference, but what do we know about the Apple standalone monitor? There's been some leaks and some developments, but today we'll be talking about what we know thus far. Let's begin. <laughs> So in the past, Ming-Chi Kuo has stated that Apple's working on their own standalone monitor, though Kuo does not have the most reliable track record right now, given how many times he said air power is going to come out, though maybe I'm too hard on him for that. Maybe we should give him a pass because perhaps he knew air power was in development all this time and kept assuming it was going to come out because how often does Apple just flat out cancel a product? Not too often. So he probably just saw development and assumed that meant it was releasing later. How could you really foresee the cancellation of a product that far in advance? No one really predicted that. But anyway, he He's stating Apple's working on a 6K 32 inch monitor, which is insane. So insane that a lot of people are predicting that must mean it's an ultra wide. There's no way that's some type of just insanely big 16 by nine monitor. They must be going with some kind of longer than usual display because they know a lot of people are interested in that. And that's how it's technically diagonally going to be measured as 32 inches, even though size wise, it might not be too much taller than an already existing iMac Pro. 6K on the other hand, I find that completely overkill although Apple did do 5K many, many years ago. So in 2019, them launching a 6K display, maybe they would do that. It's not completely impossible, but in case you think this is all absolute bogus, I invite you to remember what Craig and Phil said to the press back in 2017, stating that they were working on an upgraded version of the iMac as well as the upgraded Mac Pro, which is directly from Apple. This is not even an official leak. This is actually Apple coming forward and promising they were working on this. And also, so a lot of people overlooked the fact that they said back then with that statement that they were going to be designing their own custom monitor to go along with it. In other words, it's not a matter of if, but more when the standalone monitor comes out. And there's a recent development beginning on the Apple Store website, which is already getting people very excited for this. The LG Ultrafine monitors, which originally Apple announced when they launched their new MacBook Pro line to showcase that USB-C was the future and they could charge the MacBook while outputting to these Ultrafine fine monitors, Thunderbolt 3, 5K resolution. They're great monitors. The design of them is kind of ugly and basic, but the displays themselves are very good. They have webcams that give you extra Thunderbolt 3 ports. Both of the 4K and 5K versions have mysteriously been pulled from the website. They say sold out. This has never happened in their entire life of being on the Apple Store page. There has never been a time when they weren't available. So just a couple weeks before Worldwide Developers Conference, a lot of people are seeing it fishy that those would suddenly go out out of stock. Perhaps it's because Apple's going to have their own flagship standalone monitor and they're going to want you all to switch to that. To be fair, we have been somewhat right and somewhat wrong with Apple Store products stocked indicating a refresh is being inevitable. In the past, there were times where AirPods was on low supply and ship dates were slipping and that made a lot of people think new AirPods were coming and it didn't work out. But also with the recently announced AirPods 2 refresh, we had a very similar situation there as well. AirPods ship dates started slipping, employees were being instructed to pull AirPods from the shelf because they were about to be restocked with AirPods 2. So personally, if we are going to see any type of hardware at this Apple event, aside from, of course, the gorgeous Apple card, which I cannot wait to get my hands on, can't wait to slap around that platinum credit. But aside from that, I think you should at least expect to see the new Apple standalone monitor at the Worldwide Developers Conference because of the ultrafine monitors being pulled. They got to make room for the new 6K monitor Apple's going to be entering with. And personally, I have a lot of hope hopes for this monitor. I think it's going to be incredibly expensive, but I think it's going to have a lot of perks aside from just a standard monitor. For one, it's 6K, which is rare and not a very common resolution you see on monitors these days. But on top of that, I imagine similar to the Apple Thunderbolt displays in the past, they're going to be giving it a little bit more power than simply just giving you some extra pixels. It'll probably have its own dedicated GPU built in, which will work in conjunction with whatever Mac you currently have. It'll give you access to extra Thunderbolt 3 ports if you need them. It makes sense to me that they would give it a webcam. I mean, they gave the 5K Ultrafine monitor a webcam, and while most of the webcams in Mac suck, the one in the iMac Pro is pretty good. It supports 60 FPS and it's 1080p, so it'd be really nice if they could just take the iMac Pro webcam and provide it into something that's not $5,000, and doing it in a standalone monitor would be a really, really nice way to do that. A very slim design, way, way thinner bezels than we've had in the past to kind of showcase the future of the Mac design scheme. A lot of us want iMac redesigns. The bezels have not 
not changed for years. The standalone monitor, I think would be a great time to showcase what you can do with the Mac now that you don't have to worry about people's fingers setting off the display. It's not a touch screen. So get as thin as bezels as you can, Apple. People will be very happy. And also throw in some good sounding speakers in there as well. That's what they did with the old cinema displays. And if they put the same speakers equipped in the iMac Pro in this monitor so that you don't have to buy a whole iMac Pro to get awesome speakers, a good webcam, and some extra Thunderbolt 3 ports, you could just get it via this probably fairly expensive accessory. If I had to guess how much it's going to be, probably over $1,500, maybe even two grand. It is Apple. What were you expecting? Either way, though, I think this will be a very compelling upgrade for a lot of Apple Pro users out there. And I could personally even see myself buying it if it's good enough and has features that I prioritize a lot. If it's just a basic monitor, still thick bezels, it just happens to be 6K, the webcam kind of sucks and there's no speakers or anything like that, I might just pass. But this, I think, could be the ultimate MacBook accessory that would allow your MacBook to be powerful on the go, but that once you come home, you dock it to this thing and suddenly you have an uber powerful setup with a dope monitor showcasing awesome colors, insane pixel density. And this is a developer conference, isn't it? So this is for the pro users, the developers out there. And let's also hope that, yeah, they can showcase it alongside the modular Mac Pro to allow people to see the potential of extreme setups you can make with Mac OS. What do you guys want to see in an Apple standalone monitor? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.